Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 1. Here we are in Henry the Hermit's house. You see the shaggiest little man? You think it's a man, anyway. You've ever seen. The Hermit has all the amenities, including running water. A place to keep grain for Hermit's Ale. It's an ancient Egyptian pot from the tomb of Anan Ha. Henry always keeps a good supply of coal on hand. The fire is down to a set of dimly glowing coals. It's the hermit's staff. He needs a large staff to help him record his memoirs for posterity. You see a cot. Oh, I wonder why that said it was a staff, because I, I was wondering about that. That doesn't really look like a staff. It's a relic from India, a snake charmer's basket. A single candle sits upon the table. Whoa. Every hermit ought to have a few urns around us, says I. That's the swinging, rocking cave entrance. Let's ask him about his name. I'm Henry. Henry the Eighth, I is. My father was, my father was an Henry, and his, and his father was an Henry, 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 and every one of them was an hermit. Yeah, what can you tell me about the hermit life? An hermit is one, what lives alone, far away from them, what talks too much or asks too many questions. Hermits are shy, quiet types, what don't say much. My brother, Ari, hardly says a word in a year. My sister, Hortense, hasn't spoken since she was six. I never talks at all. Yes, we hermits knows how to keep a mouth shut. Indeed, indeed you do. What can you tell me about your cave? Well, it's dark and damp and the water's roar, so there's not a moment's quiet. The ceiling drips and the walls are slimy and, always, and it's always gold. But, oh well, says I... It's home. What can you tell me about your family? My family lives pretty far apart from each other. We're all hermits, you know. What can you tell me about the uh, waterfalls? This year, what's called the Flying Falls? I've done some Flying Falls around here myself. That porch gets slippery sometimes. <laughs> I can imagine. What can you tell me about the ladder? Your ladder. I know some magic. Erasmus the wizard taught me some spells. He's what put the spell on my ladder so as the brigands don't get up. Then what climbs the rocks gets a door opening in the nose. Ah, so you know Erasmus. What can you tell me about him? He's my friend, Ian Venris. Powerful wizard he is. Now here his house is something to see up north. I don't make it out much, and he's pretty busy, so as I don't see him too often. But when we do all get together, you can be sure we have fun. He loves to play his games, he do. Well, what can you tell me about Fenris? Fenris is Erasmus familiar, or is that the other way around? Indeed. Erasmus' favorite game is the Mage's Maze. Have to be a magic user to play it, though. Erasmus is awfully good at it. Now, well, what can you tell me about spells? The spells what I knows is pretty simple, maybe, but I like them. I can make me ladder show up, and me door close, and even get rid of pests using the, the trigger spell, you see? The trigger spell? Ooh, tell me more about that. It's a spell what sets off other spells. Like when you wants to see the ladder, you cast a trigger, and there you have it. Large as life. Of course, you gots to have a spell on the invisible ladder to make it visible first. But it has its uses. I think I have a scroll with the spell if you be knowing some magic, that is. Ooh, ooh, scroll, gimme, gimme, gimme. If you be wanting to learn the spell, I'll be pleased to share it with you. It's just getting moldy in me hiding place. Do you want it? Yes. Yes. Let's see. How does Erasmus do it? Oh, yes. He summons it with the trigger. Here goes. There you has it. Nice. 
The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a trigger spell. Sweet. Wrong one. I don't know why I always do that. You possess a trigger spell. Your expertise is 10. You will use three magic points each time you cast the spell. Nice. Let's talk to him some more. Yep, done talking about that, and that, and that. Um, yeah, I think we talked about the ladders. Let's talk about the brigands. Nasty sorts they is. I sees them sneaking around, around the woods all, 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 uh, all the times. Other than the warlock, I has nothing to do with them. You have something to do with the warlock? He's not so bad. Got a good sense of humor, he has. I get the giggles just to think of him. <laughs> oh, crap. He's come, he, he's come by at times to chat. Borrowed the mirror, what I borrowed from Erasmus, he did. Ooh, what are you talking about this mirror? A magic mirror of reflection, it was. If you use it, then a nasty spell was cast at you. It was what sent, sent it back at the one what cast it. Do unto others, I says. Hee <laughs> Very interesting. Can I sit down? Indeed I can. I think we pretty much talked to everything that he has. I got some points. Alright, well. I'll find me that way. Oh, let's go ahead and leave. That is an enormous door. If you ever been needing a place to stay the night, and you're in the area, I could be willing to put you up for for the night for some rations and a couple of games of cribbage. I, I um, I, I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass in the couple of games of cribbage. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, save the game again. Actually, let's. Uh, Save it as 15. <coughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh! Mm, Grom will not get nobody here, I guess. <laughs> so, luckily, it doesn't kill you, but uh, it does. Uh, um, I think it probably does damage you. I'm not going to bother ch checking, though. Alright, let's climb down. Whee! Okay, so we have a trigger spell. I think that calls for a little celebration. If I'm not too... Oh, my magic points are terrible. Alrighty. Well, um, in that case, what time is it? Mid-afternoon. Okay, well, I guess this calls for postponing our celebration. Temporarily. Get my map back up. Oh. Oh. Well, oh, shucks. Let's see if he's going to come on screen. He is. He is. I don't think I have time to get a second one off. Nope. Darn. Huh. That didn't seem to do any damage. Might not have shown it. I don't know. Stamina isn't very good either. Oh well. I had fun killing him. Look at all those wounds. <laughs> well, we do have a couple things that we can do. Do we have... Um... Hmm... I need an empty flask. But I don't really want to use a potion just yet. How am I doing on hit points? Psh. I haven't taken any damage. Oh, I suppose I could use a stamina potion. They are the cheapest. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Actually, nah, probably is a good idea to use a stamina potion. 
So anything coming on the screen? No, good. The drink is invigorating because it's a vigor potion. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. All right, well, let's take a stop by the goblin training camp. That's one of the reasons why I use that. Hi guys. You guys want some? You want you want some of this? You want some of this? I got some for you. Yeah. Yep, you and your friends. I've got swords for all of you. Lots and lots of swords. Because stun locking is the best thing ever. <laughs> You're really getting hungry. It's your lucky day. This is the big winner at last night's poker game. You take his 35 silvers. Maybe I should run back to town and get some uh, rations just for the heck of it. Find five silvers concealed in a pouch. You take the silvers. This poor slob was the big loser at the poker game. He didn't even have lunch money. You find four silvers tucked in his tunic. He has no use for the silvers anymore, so into your pocket they go. You eat some of the apples. They actually taste quite good. Did I use up? Ah, used up all my apples. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm still hungry or not. What's he staring at? Strange place to take a nap. He's getting a suntan? The only good goblin is a dead goblin. Alright, who's gonna pop up next? Come on. Come on. Where are you? One of you is going to pop up. Come on. Come on. Oh, fine. Screw you guys. I'm going up here. Well, this looks pleasant. Did you get my glowing gem? Give it to me! I mean, please give it to me. I'm not sure. No gem, no entry. That's the deal. Alright, well. Can I? Okay. Let's go ahead and save it. I forget. Let's go ahead and save it as 16. Who knows if it's the right one or not. Well, I'm pretty sure I know the uh, rhyme, so let's go ahead and give him the gem. Place the glowing gem inside the skull. I can see! I have eyes again! Yeah! Is that what you look like? Oh well, have fun visiting Baba Yaga, and good luck! You'll need it! I hope you can remember the rhyme! I hope so too. Do 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 can I Oh, thought I could get closer. You hear a voice in your head asking, What is the rhyme? Um, I'm not sure. Um How about beauty? You tell the hut, For beauty I am not a star, there are others finer by far. But my face, I don't mind it, because at least I'm behind it. It's people in front that I jar. <laughs> well, that one didn't seem to do it. How about the alien from Venus? You tell the hut, There once was an alien from Venus, whose body was shaped like a... Oh, okay, I guess that one doesn't work either. How about Hut of Brown? You tell the hut, Hut of Brown, now sit down. Oh. Bad strategy. You really brought down the house. Too bad you were under it at the time. Well, shucks. 
I got points for dying, though. Not quite. I got points for uh, telling the hut the rhyme. It just so happened that it killed me. <laughs> yes, I've talked to you. It is possible if you have not gotten the uh, the rhyme to. Well, no, I don't think you can get locked here because you can go always go get the hut from the the rhyme from Bruno. That's right. There is a second way of doing it. Oh, I don't know why I'm in there. Let's talk to the hut. Hut of Brown, you tell the hut. Hut of Brown, now sit down. This is probably a bad idea, isn't it? Ooh, 256. Ah, it's 258. Look, pets, we have a visitor! Can I, can I look around? Can I look around at things? Powers of night, shadows of day, heed now my words, henceforth you stay! Your body is frozen by the power of the witch's spell. Well, dearies, what shall we have for supper today? Um... Oops. Ah, that's it, frog legs fricassee. I missed something. It was something about sandwiches. Now, how does that spell go? Hear me, O oh powers of Klatha and Mana. Turn now my guest into species called Rana. No! No, I don't want to be a frog. I learned that spell from Erasmus, kids. Doesn't it look delicious? He won't give me that spell. Well, that's not nice. No! No, I don't want to be in the... Well, that is green, actually. Be still! Critics, we can't all be gourmands, I suppose. Now, oh, soon to be supper, I don't suppose you have a name. Yes, actually, I do. You try your best to croak out your name, or at least the w let the witch know that you do indeed have one. As you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. So you're the one who's trying to be a hero around here. The only good hero is a dead hero, I always say. But I do have a need for a brave fool. Are you brave? Yes, indeed. You make your you make little froggy sounds, trying your best to indicate your agreement. Well, if you're willing to do a small teensy favor for me, I might reconsider having you for supper. I need the root of a mandrake plant that grows in the graveyard. Will you be a sweet and fetch me some? Sure. Anything but frog legs fricassee, you think? You croak your agreement to the task. And I had my mouth watering for frog. Oh well. Hear what I say and hear me right. Mandrake must be pulled at precisely midnight. This I tell you and this I say, return with the root ere you the break of next day. Hear what I say and no, I don't lie. Bring back the root or else you will die. Um, can, can we renegotiate this contract? You, shoo! Wait, I, I'm a frog though. From a distance you hear the witch intone. Oops, I very nearly forgot. Hear me, O oh powers of mana and more. Turn this fool back as he was before. As you contemplate the occurrences of the last few minutes, you, you conclude that you'd better find a mandrake root for Baba Yaga, and fast! Sunset approaches on day 12. Well, let's actually save it as temp. I had some more questions for Baba Yaga. You again? Do you really want to go back in there? Of course I do. It reminded me of home. Come on, hut. Alright. Yeah, I'm sure we can take care of Baba Yaga. Let's get on my sword. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm ready to kill you. Back so soon? Spirits of mist and creatures of bog, transform my guest to the shape of a frog! Don't! This I vow, stay there now. 
Once again, you're a frog, and once again, you can't move. You find it very exasperating. Yum yum, froggy frappe! Did you bring ba bring me my mandrake root like you promised? As you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. Well, where is it? What's the matter? Got a frog in your throat? <laughs> I suppose I'll have to turn you back into whatever it is that you were. Pity. You are so much more appetizing this way. Creatures of bog and spirits of fog, return the true form to this rather dumb frog. I resent... The Wait. Now, did you put it in your backpack? No mandrake for me, eh? What a waste of spells you turned out to be. Uh-oh. Actually, since it's my breakfast time, we'll have some amphibian omelette with bacon and legs. Oh, ho, ho. breakfast of champions? At least you could have said yes before you croaked. Oh, shucks. Well, so, we have to go get the, uh, um, the mandrake root before the, uh, before tomorrow. Can we do it? We'll find out 